Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome back to another to another tutorial about MIPS assembly language. And well, last time I was showing you uh, that you can use a while loop in combination with an array. Uh, and while loops is go uh, are going to allow you to actually print all the elements in a very concise manner. And so um, what I want to show you today is that uh, right now you see you have these elements right here and um, you have like an array and you declare the array uh, with 12, uh, 12 bytes so you can hold uh, three integers so if you print it out you say wrong assemble execute you see all the values 4, 10 and 12 but these values right here they were in the array because I had to put them in the array one by one you can see all the elements right here one by one so first I put number number four then number 10 and then number 12 but let's say that you don't want to do that let's say that you that all the elements in your array you want to have you want those elements to have a default value well uh, I'm gonna show you how you can do that so right now uh, delete all this code right here because we don't need it we don't have to specify a value for every element in the array anymore so just um, delete it and we can also delete this right here you see this is a lot better right looks nicer so now we have this right here but what we want to do is that uh, because this array right here is not is not initialized I want to declare uh, an array of integers so I can say that word word is an integer I mean four bytes so I can say let's say that, that the default value that I want is 100 so I can say 100 and then I can say colon and 3 and what this is gonna do is that it's gonna make an array in random access memory and every element is gonna be initialized to 100 and there's gonna be three elements so 100 colon 3 so three elements and every element is going to be initialized to 100 so uh, right here because we have three elements we don't have to change anything else so that's why it's very important that you that you use while loops because you don't have to modify a lot of code and it, it makes your job easier if you want to modify uh, the code later so you can see let's see save run assemble execute voila you can see 100 100 100 so this is another way to declare an array so the values are going to be initialized to a default value that you specify so in this case it's going to be 100 so that's why you see 100 100 100 but let's say that I want another value let's say I want the value 5 so three elements are going to be initialized to 5 so wrong assemble execute voila five, uh, 5 5 5 okay but let's say that I want to change now I want I want let's say 10 elements instead of three 10 elements well you need to make sure that you also modify this right here so remember before you had three elements so you multiply three times four which was 12 but now you have instead of three elements you have 10 elements so multiply 10 10 times 4 and 10 times 4 is 40 so you have to modify this right here so it's 40 so now we save we run we assemble and we execute and you can see that we have five five five, five. we have five ten times so now you can see why uh, uh, loops and arrays go hand in hand so they simplify your work and you see that uh, it doesn't matter how many elements I display let's say I want to display uh, six elements instead of ten then I just have to modify this line right here 6 and 6 times 4 is 24 so instead of 4 it's going to be 24 and then just save and run assemble and execute and now we have and now you can see that we only have 6 1 2 3 4 yeah 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 yeah so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, now you know a new way to initialize an array as soon as you declare the array and well see you next time uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial